How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lie Hobby Time. This week I'm going to be building a 1 to 350 scale Millennium Falcon with some lights. I'm also going to be putting it on a landing platform inspired by the one seen in Empire Strikes Back from Cloud City. This kit from Bondi does not come with any landing gear, but I did want this to be in landed position, so I added five pieces of plastic to the bottom. I didn't pay too much attention to these because they will be on the bottom of the Falcon and not very visible from the top. And then I drilled out six holes for some lights. After all of the customization was done, I primed it and got ready for painting. I swapped out the needle and nozzle on the airbrush to something a little bit finer. I'm going to be doing pre-shading on this falcon, so I needed the stream to be nice and thin. Once that was back together, I got started. Pre-shading is the process of going over panel lines or shaded areas with a black thin line. The idea is that some of this will show through the next layer of paint, creating a kind of a natural break between the panels and show a little bit of discoloration from panel to panel. It's easy to overdo this. Sometimes it just ends up looking way too outlined. So I try to err on the side of covering up more of the black lines than not. Next up was to paint the individual panels that had some color to them. Most of these are red, but there's also some yellow ones and some bluish gray. I used a couple photo references for this. Then I also did a few more details, including the exhaust trails behind the exhaust fins. Once the painting was done, I ran all of the LEDs through the bottom and out the hole that was meant for the stand that came with the ship. And then once I had all of those in place, I twisted the negative and positive leads together made sure those were working and I assembled it. Then you used some canvas board for the base of the diorama. I measured that out and cut it to length. I used a roll of tape to get the right size for the landing pad. I drew some lines to make sure everything was squared and centered. I used my hot foam table to cut out all of the basic shapes for the landing pad. To create a smoother surface for the landing pad, I cut out some styrene in the same shape as the foam. Then I cut out an outline of the same shape to go on top as a rim. I use the hand hot wire cutter to create a path for the wires through the foam. This will go to the batteries that will sit at the back of the diorama. I then moved to the back of the diorama and I peeled the paper off of some foam core 
and that is what I used to build the majority of this section. The foam that comes on the inside of the foam core is really nice to work with. Uh, it cuts cleanly and it doesn't have the same kind of dust that other styrofoam does. But it does have a little bit of a residue from the paper. So after I painted this it ended up looking more like a fortress than I wanted it to. A friend of mine also pointed out that it should have been round, rounder. But, you live and you learn. After all the details were on, I drilled some holes for some more LEDs. And I painted it. Once I was done painting, I got all of the wiring figured out. And I glued it in place and called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great week. I will see you next time.